Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you a quick and easy treat that is just going to blow your mind away. We are going to do Jolly Ranchers. I got an apple one there, a cinnamon one there, and how about a blueberry one? Now what I have this set at is 350 degrees. Now I've done a couple runs on this already so my pot has been preheated but from cold I put this on 350 degrees and I put my Jolly Ranchers in the tray like so and I put it in the pot and it took 30 minutes uh, yeah 30 minutes to bring the cold pot up to where the candy measures with the uh, infrared thermometer at 160 degrees. You want that to, those to be 160 degrees before you turn your vacuum on. Now it seems to be going quicker now that my pot is preheated. But when you preheat your pot I found that if you leave the uh, drain valve closed it heats up quicker. I didn't do that on my Skittles demonstration and it took a long time to heat up but I think that solved that. So I'm going to put these in, space them out well, put the lid on and I'm going to guess probably about 15 minutes before those will read 165 or 160 degrees at least. So I'll see you in about 15 minutes and we'll take a temperature. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. And my hottest one is 170. And my coolest one is 160. So those are good to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this on and draw a vacuum for 15 minutes. And then we'll, we'll uh, do a review afterwards. So 15 minutes and these should be done. I'll see you in 15 minutes. Okay, it has been 15 minutes, so we're going to shut off the vacuum valve, turn off the pump, release the air, this is hot, check those out. air light. That is a whole Jolly Rancher. What do you think about those? Those are nice aren't they? Let me tell you they taste good too but we're gonna let these cool down. Here's one I done earlier. Check that out. Now you could never ever do this in a freeze dryer put a whole one in because you can see the height of that is about two inches and that and three inches wide you could never get away with doing that in a free freeze dryer and let me show you what the texture looks like check this out airy It just dissolves and melts in your mouth. Delicious. So, that was a quick, this is going to be a quick video. So let's review what we did. We set our temperature at 350 degrees. 
we put our Jolly Rancher in the tray, popped it into the uh, vacuum chamber, put the lid on it, and waited until the candy itself got up to 160 degrees minimum, checking with your laser level. We then turn on the vacuum and vacuumed it for 15 minutes. So the total process on a preheated chamber is 15 minutes to warm up your candy, 15 minutes to uh, puff up your candy, and then you turn your pump off, release the valve, and release the air, and you are good to go. Really quick and simple, and you can knock those out pretty quick. Now what I thought I would do, what I thought I would do is take these balls and I've just ordered them some off Amazon those individual plastic cupcake holders they're clear see-through and I could put one of these in that that cupcake holder and put the lid on it because these are very fragile and you could give those as gifts or something like that and people would love it a unique gift a unique party favor check it out I am just so tickled to death with that like I say I could never do that in in a freeze dryer I want you to stay tuned because I got a lot more coming on these and if you stumbled across this video but didn't see the video of the Skittles I explain what all my equipment is on this the, the pump the uh, chamber vacuum chamber and the heat pad for the chamber and I leave a I'll leave a link to my Amazon store in the description box below and if you uh, go into my store all this equipment including the pans that I use which fit inside the chamber very nicely and the trivet that I set the pan on in in the uh, chamber they're all in my store and by using my Amazon link you'd be helping me out a great deal so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope I've inspired you to try and do some really cool things and I got some cool things lined up so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time